Yes guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel and today's video is a bit of a panic video in regards to the fact that I've been invited to play in the Abu Dhabi Championship Pro-Am. So I'm playing on the Wednesday, obviously tournament starts on the Thursday. Today is the Monday of that week, so I'm playing in two days. I just found out my pro is going to be Thomas Peters. So not only is he just an unbelievable player, great ball striker, he's long as hell. So I'm going to basically feel really really short for 18 holes and I, but you know what I'm massively looking forward to I'm going to try and get as much content as possible whilst out there but in the meantime i'm going to just i'm whizzing out three holes in between lessons to get some practice in and try and find a golf swing quickly i actually did a nine kilometer run last night i'm aching like mad but i'm going to try and work through it because this is a good time to really work the swing i've been working a bit on driver well yesterday i kind of hit quite a few balls hitting driver managed to just find a little fault i adjusted my ball my ball position i often just get a little bit too far forward which then encourages me to have to lean into the ball and just get a bit down on the ball and spin it a bit too much so i brought the ball further back in my stance it encourages me then to stay behind and hit up on the ball so we're always learning we're always learning we're always learning tweaking and just correct over correcting ourselves again right up the left would be ideal oh it's a good strike i've probably just overcooked it left but right has got we've got a bunker there uh it's bouncing away it's not the not the best drive in the world but it's okay it's a bit hooky all right so as i said not a great drive got the ball above my feet i'm in the raw from about 15 20 yards or so from the fairway so Thankfully, this hole is wide and wide left, as so I was quite lucky, really. 90 yards downwind, uphill to the flag. So I've got a sand wedge out. Don't need, all, obviously, don't need all of it. Just want to make sure I avoid this first bunker. Pop it onto the green. Get myself into putting range. Still got a birdie chance, though. Inside of 100 yards. Control of the ball flight is key. Control of the strike is so important from this sort of lie. Just going to make sure I keep the club more kind of as parallel as I can to straight in terms of path to, as I can to the target it's very easy one to get stuck with is the swing where you drop it inside and swing it up the hill I'll get toe strikes I get hook spin so I'm going to try and avoid that so I'm going to try and swing against the slope a little bit keeping it more in front of my body as I come down lovely strike looks good i feel like the wind helped me there i feel like i hit it a bit too soft it just stayed up there forever it's just cleared the top edge of that bunker which i think is where the flag is as well i was worried at one point when that was in the air i was thinking is that even going to make the bunker but it's cleared it so i think we're going to be good lovely strike oh folks folks you love to see it you absolutely love to see it birdie time Greenkeepers have just been on, sanded the greens out, so they made it a little bit softer than usual. Did a bit of maintenance, course was closed all morning for that. But they are running true as ever. Look at that. Ah, <laughs> this is the type of birdie. Oh, the greens look unbelievable. And they look a bit sandy. They've just, the guy's just been out. I'm literally behind him, so the next couple of greens are going to be the same. But this doesn't make a difference to, at all to the roll. It's not like thick sand. Lovely. There it is. It's not like thick sand. It's very, very fine. So the, bit, the greens will be a bit softer. But hey, when you knock it that close, who cares? Birdie. Easy game, this. All right, I'm going to play this one from the back, back tee where the championship is. From where that flag is, the flag is in a brutal position, by the way. It's 205 yards. It's slightly downwind, so I've got a six iron out. Um, just going to, going to play some very tough par threes. If you've never seen or played Yas, just check the website. What an unbelievable golf course. I actually played there with Seb from Seb on Golf, if you want to go and check out that previous video. It was, uh, it was an interesting match. Oh, that's pure. That's really, really good. Just held on to the left side of the green. But a lovely strike, lovely, lovely connection, lovely shape. Happy with that. 
Okay, I told you two things. I told you it was a good shot, which it is. I told you it was a brutal pin, which it is. This little corner is horrid. Absolutely horrid, but I've held onto the fringe of the green. Not quite classed as a green in regulation, but then this is not classed as a putt. So see it as you will. But normally when I'm playing, I would count this as a green in regulation. Although it's on the edge, it's on the green in regulation because I would count this as a putt. So stats are important the way they are interpreted. Right, come on, two under through two would be an, an unbelievable start. I'd almost regret coming out and playing. So I'd want to do this on the first couple of holes at Yas Links on Wednesday. Poor putt, slight push, off the face. Easy par to a very, very difficult, oh, <laughs> to a very difficult par three. I'll take that. All right, beautiful par five this one. Not so beautiful today, it's into wind, 620 odd yards. Into wind, it's a definite three shotter. But even with that, we know it's quite comfortably reachable in three, but have to hit the fairways. Got to keep the ball in play on holes like this. Even when you, if you dissect that into three separate shots, into wind, 250, second shot, 200, gives you 450 and then third shot 150 onto the green. So we know it's comfortably in range for all those clubs, but if we get out of position, it now becomes a mammoth task. So there's a lot of riding on this tee shot. Oh, he's ripped it. Beautiful. Arrow straight, fairway, let's go. Right, pretty happy with the tee shot, 280 yards off the tee, almost exactly to the ball, which to be fair, with this wind flying straight back at the camera, that's not a bad tee shot, I'm happy with that. Really hit it so well. Now the bunker you might be able to make out there on the far left hand side is actually 225 yards to get to and get past. So I've got a four iron, which would normally be about that distance into wind maybe hit it i was going to try and punch this really about two 200 to 210 which will give me about 110 into the green so i'm trying to dissect the hole as i go trying to manage the hole as i possibly can do best with the wind so i'm going to put the ball slightly more centrally in my stance just to get a better flight on the strike i've hit it amazing but i've just tugged it Oh, guys, sit, 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 sit. It's not massively left. Might be on the pine stuff on the left-hand side. Just toward, just left of the bunker. That's the sort of shot now, because I'm trying to stay over the ball and get a decent ball flight. I've just flipped the face over slightly left. Also, as well, I'm scared about, because the ball position's in my middle of my stance with a long iron, I'm scared of hitting that block to the right-hand side. So I've overcompensated and got the pull. I kind of really need the win now to have hit that hard so it's not traveled too far. I'm thinking it's probably in the like the pine needles and stuff on the right and on the far left hand side there. So hopefully have a shot, fingers crossed. Right guys, I actually lost it. I can't find the ball. So I'm just kind of thinking back to my decision making there and I've gone, well, four round would be perfect if it lands in that really slender looking fairway. But what I didn't really think about, and this is where I'm a little bit out of practice in terms of probably what, we're ta what a tournament decision making would be like. A four iron slightly pulled left just goes straight into there. A six iron pulled slightly left finishes about here, I think, where it's left. I've got a shot, but I'm not bringing in the trouble, but I'm sacrificing 10, 20 yards or so for the sake of making sure that if I do get it slightly wrong, is still okay and that's a I think that's a valuable lesson that the four iron would have looked incredible had i kept it on the fairway would have been amazing would have had 90, 80 yards into the flag maybe less 70 yards maybe and the chance of birdie but because i've just tugged it a little bit i've now lost the ball i'd be playing again or whatever but i'm obviously not going to do all that um, so i've got 100 yards in so i'm just going to punch a little wedge you've got to keep it under this tree and then just let it glide up to get the height Obviously slightly into wind as well. I can't really feel it because I am sheltered from the wind. But remembering how the last shot was, it's definitely going to be into the breeze. So I've got a little wedge. I'll try and play this about a 120 yard shot. Just like that. 
Looks good, played it nicely. So really played pretty well so far. Decision making, massively important. How many shots do you lose from poor decisions? Comment below. I just done it but we all do it so often then we in hindsight it's such a wonderful thing where felt great off the tee shot felt confident hit the four iron amazingly well but it didn't take much to lose it left right decent shot from where i was shim not really putting for birdie isn't it but this is the game that we love and the game that we play and the game that we hate. Right, so that would technically be what? Two into the trees, drop for three, here for four, I'd have this for five. Yes, an illegal drop albeit, but this for five. Two putts for bogey. <laughs> well, that'd have been a nice five. Okay, bogey to finish with a birdie to start and a par in the centre, so not too bad at all. Guys, thank you very much for watching today's tour, not tournament, Pro-Am Preparation Day. Absolutely not gonna be marking a scorecard, I don't think, with the guys in terms of entering the Pro-Am. I know myself and Mac not too fussed about that. It's more about trying to make as much good content for you guys as possible, so hopefully, we can get some really good content from the day. Stay tuned, please do subscribe to the channel, click the bell for notifications if you haven't already done so, and you'll be notified when that awesome content gets released. See you in a bit, guys.